this is a form sheet um, you can use Closel form, ether form um, this one you can buy from Hobbycraft or anywhere for like 99 pence um, it's really good material, very buoyant and the, you have to cut this like uh, as you can see I've cut this piece it's about an inch and a half long to create a body so how to create a body what you do is you need about a needle and you catch the needle properly in the jaw make sure it's secure enough that's fine um, Right. Um, then you need a tail, a pheasant tail fibre for the tail, just about four, and thread, which is I'm using is uni eight or olive, light olive. Um, as I go along, I'll show you the, all the material I'm using. So this is a bit tricky bit, so you have to be careful. Take your time on this thing, you know, you might do a kind of few attempt to get this right. Um, now, when you wind this around the needle, make sure you leave this bit quite long. You'll see, in a, after I'll show you. Now, about three turn. Um, and the form just get the point here and just stick it in the bottom end of the form now I forgot to mention that this if you cut this form make sure it's like a you know tapered shape the bottom end it's a bit thin, thinner than the top end so that creates the body nicely now <coughs> this is when you've done that one turn two turn just leave it there now like I said it's tricky so take your time now you need about four four to three to four fiber for the pheasant so just bring them together like this and pull them off gently um, sorry just a bit fluff on this um, now cast them and just bring it all the feather together it does not have to be equal you know because like the pension is emerging so when the fly may flies are emerging there's a bit scuffy now that's long enough about half an inch now once you've done that lift this sock together with this fiber a pheasant tail make sure this bit of thread is there one turn and then catch it nicely two turn now again this time I'm gonna do two turn because see when you go along make sure the each segment is the segments start getting bigger to keep a taper shape so now another two turn as you can see the each time each segment is bigger than the one before um, another two turn and this time again and then one two and that is the last one now when you come up here just give two and then you can either use your fingers for a bit finish or if you find it easier with the two 
this three term I'm going to finish it here gently finish it off now as you can see I will finish it then I'm bringing both the fiber both end of the thread and just cutting them about four inch three inch I'm leaving about three inch on the end okay right that is done now to get this off the needle take your time gently because if you pull it fast all this thread and everything will go messed up so just grab it tight here just spin it around a couple of time and then pull it gently off the needle now yep yeah, that's fine as you can see it's set very nice just done it nicely the tail is nice um, I'm just gonna take this little tip oh that's fine yeah mm -hmm. that's better that's more than enough I don't know if you take your time and like I said before to make a perfect fly then there's no problem forever like I said it's just a, a merging so closest imitation would be fine now what I'll do I'll take this needle off and just uh, underneath this the bit where the thorax is going to be I'm just going to trim it down make it a bit thinner you know so you don't have very bulky thorax you know now so this is stage one to create a body now in the next stage I will put this on the hook and show you how to make a margin fly this is a B100 um, size 12 hook um, you can use size 14 but uh, for the demonstration purpose I'm using size 12 and 12 is very good you know for the perfect size for this mayfly merger now um, the thread as I mentioned before um, light olives 8 or you just put in some wax on the thread and if I start just about here leave this you know near the eye and quite a lot of space because I need that for later on um, that's fine and now I'm just going to put the hook downward to just attach the body because um, I like this merger body half in the water when the fly is emerging they're always kind of half in and out so once you do that as you can see both of these thread I'm putting either end of the hook and just about here a few turn just to secure it properly and take your time now bring the hook back to the normal position and all this both the end of these thread just catch it nicely to just secure it properly so in case the body don't split and uh, let's just take away this waste piece um, And uh, these are secured properly. Um, and I've used a bit of plastic actually, hard plastic, just to kind of cut the wings. I don't normally put wings on, I just thought to have some fun and add some extra. Like you see, cut them about an inch and a half long. 
and make the shape like this so either end is equally good um, yes put them put the wings on bring the both hand like this and not, not too big though just put cast them here and gently you just uh, it's a bit tricky so just to take your time on this like I said, if you pull this back and uh, right. that's just about. And you can alter them after now. You can see they are actually mm -hmm. Seems a little longer. Okay, that's fine. Now, <coughs> the rest of the material. Now, for the legs and like a scruffy bit, you know, I use quite a lot of different feather, but I find the partridge, brown partridge feather, it makes a really difference and more realistic. It looks really nice. So, just uh, they are fragile or uh, it's not very easy so now we take your time with this so catch this end of this same place where you cut the thread couple of turn and then secure them in the front a um, couple of more turn that's done um, the dubbing I use is uh, olive. So, in the front, just a mixture of dubbing with some shiny fiber and uh, a synthetic, you know, really nice. It's uh, actually this dubbing float really nice. Now, that is. Just around here, I put some rubbing on. I need some more, a little bit. That's about here, that's fine. And just come back here again now. <coughs> what I'll do is just to open the thread up with the needle. Um, so, opening this thread just put the nail push it with the nail and as you can see splitting nicely now this is just to catch some deer hair in bit in there you know um, and kind of make it dubbing so I'll cut a few fiber of deer hair just to vary there like see a few of them just top end and chop them. You don't have to put them in a stocker. Um, let's uh, try open the thread again. Okay, that's fine. Catch the deer here. And I'll spin it around for a bit so they get scared in there. That's fine. Um, now you can see when you touch them here, make sure they just sit nicely. Now scratch them, just spin them around a few more time, and that's more than enough. Now. Uh, you need a huckle plier for this um, cartridge huckle very fragile um, kind of snub so long so many times so just do it gently couple of turn uh, in between the deer hair and uh, one more turn and that's enough 
Let's catch it securely. Couple of times. And that's fine. Now with this I'm gonna crush this with a few turns and snap this excess piece. Now as you can see we've got enough like emerging legs around it and what you have to do is just bring this forward. Now once you bring this forward, pull this feather back and it doesn't matter if we put some in the front and catch it nicely here just to build a nice thorax here couple turn and couple in the front and then again now <coughs> as you can see it's almost looking nice um, and the wings are setting properly um, that's perfect you know like I said you need a bit scruffy bit so don't have to be 100% this will catch definitely catch a decent amount of fish and mainly the brown trout um, last year I was catching with these uh, on the river air near Gargrave um, wild brown and I've had unbelievably 15 trout but I have lost kind of destroyed my merger about four or five because it's not very strong like a buzzer or anything but um, 15 fish I can sacrifice 100 fly and 100 for the wild brown now this is skewed properly I don't normally use varnish on the end I just leave it like that but you can do varnish and just to keep a square um, basically this is your use a little bit dubbing brush to get this fluff off and you see this will float very nicely you don't have to put anything on it and as you can see that's fine now for the security the best way is not to do anything apart from just a tiny bit of varnish on the top of the head that will scale your thread perfectly and if you're a good caster this, this fly will last you you know a bit so this is your detached body mayfly emergent pattern thank you very much hope to see you again